Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner and today we are going to discuss about the week 2 of bits and bytes of computer networking which is a course of the specialization Google IT support and this is one of the most important week of bits and bytes of computer networking so basically we are going to talk about the network layer so in network layer we have different lecture videos and which are very important you must go through them but we are going to the quiz directly so first tell, uh, please select all the void are valid sorry all the valid IP addresses okay so uh, how can you detect the valid IP addresses which are valid and which are not so for this you must go through the lecture videos but the answer is 8.8.8.8 this is and another is 192.168.1 okay. what is the TL, uh, TTL field what happens to the TTL field of an IP datagram every time it reaches a router the TTL field is decremented by one yes every single time it is decremented by one Okay, now we are going to our next quiz, which is basically on subnetting. Okay, subnetting is a very important term also. You must go through this lecture video. CIDR, classless interdomain routing. And which is uh, which of the following is a correct form of CIDR notation? 192.168.0, 1.0, slash 24. Number three, how many octets does a subnet mask have? A subnet mask has four octets. Okay, so we are going to our next quiz, which is about routing. And there are three questions in this quiz. The first question of the quiz is select an example of routing protocols, a routing information protocol, and BGP or border gateway protocol. Who is permitted to use non routable address space? Anyone, anyone, anyone is permitted. A typical routing table may contain which of the following total hop and destination network. Okay, so we already completed our routing. So, submitting routing. Now we are heading to our graded assignment. Okay, so. The first assignment is okay so we're heading to our first quiz of this bit so which is basically on routing paths and subnets so this is a tricky one if you are not much familiar with routing paths but i hope you guys will have some basic knowledge about routing paths and how it travels from source to destination so if we look at here to our source you can see 192.168.0.128 and the destination is same but there's one in case of dot okay so search for the 192.6800 yes there's one zero but not 128 so that's not match okay so, so sorry sorry that's not match don't select it and the destination 168 1 slash 20, 128 one, one. yes there's one but not 128 okay so unfortunately we are very unfortunate that our source and destination is not matched so we can click on source or destination is not present so our first question is done now we are going to the second one you can look at the source uh, again is just 1.1 1 .1. yes 1.1 1 .1. and the destination is 192.168.1.65 okay so for this what you can do it's a little bit simple okay so 192.6.1 this is one this is the source and then this will travel to this yes and we'll travel 1.64 yeah you can see 64 and 65 they're very near okay so we can check that's done now we should go to uh, you can see that's really easy this will travel from 192 from here to there and their final destination is here okay so we already checked number three okay so you can see the source is 172 dot one six dot hundred dot one and the destination is ten dot two dot one dot one okay so okay so if you look here if you look here the destination is seems to be like this yeah this is the destination and this is the final destination okay check it uh oh sorry we made a mistake it will be that from that now check Yes, that's the correct. We made the mistake. Sorry, that was really a mean mistake. You shouldn't make this. The source and the destination, they're really side by side. Okay, so number four. Number four question. The source is 10.3.1.3 and the destination is 10.1.3. Is there anything? Yes, 10.1. Oh, sorry. There is no 10.3 and destination 1 but not 3. Two. Okay, so the source destination is not present. That's simple. Uh, question number five. 192 dot one six eight dot one dot two five four okay there is now nothing like that we already checked before and the destination is ten dot one dot one dot two five four ten dot one dot one sorry source of destination is not again present yeah that's also the same answer okay so one nine two 
192.168.0.73 yes and look for this and the destination is 10 192.168.073 Zero zero, where are you? Zero zero seven three. Yes, look over it. Zero seven three. You must be here, and the destination is here. Oh, so simple. Check this. Yes, this is done. That is really a lot more easier than I think. Okay, our sixth question is also done. Now it's time for the seventh one. One nine two point one six eight dot one dot one eighty one eighty one. Sorry, only eighty one. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Yes, there you are. The, you are the source and destination. Where are the destinations? This is equal to three. Check, man. Yes, this is done. Source, medium, final destination. Done. Number eight and the last one. Ten dot one dot two four zero two four zero dot destination. Okay, so ten dot one. What's about you, eh? You are ready to be the source file? Yes, you must be the source file here. Okay, then what we can do, we can just move on to this and this because that's our destination file. What are we waiting for? Check. Done. Yes, congratulations. You have completed the activity and please submit the quiz. And you will get 100% marks like me. And then they will congratulate you also. Okay, so we already passed it. The quiz are uh, great assignment. Now we are going to the final network layer assignment of 15 questions this is really one of the hardest uh, question if you go through okay so the first question the entirety of a packet at one layer become the payload section in another layer is known as what is known as basically encapsulation okay number two a router a network device that knows how to forward data along uh, to other networks is known as a router Number three, interior gateway protocols are used by routers in order to share information with a single autonomous system. Number four, there are four objects in an IP. Number five, using a CIDR notation, the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 is written as slash 24. That is the CIDR notation. Number six, calculate how many decimals are, uh, how many decimal numbers a four bit number can represent. 16 decimal numbers can be represented. Number seven, what protocol communicates data between routers representing the ages of autonomous system? Interior, exterior, distance vector, link state. Okay, so that will be easily exterior. If you look, but I'm not sure. You can check this out. What is eight bits of data called? Octet. Number nine, when dealing with IPv version four, what is the minimum IP header length? 20 bytes. QoS service provides a service or protocol that allows routers to make decisions about which IP datagram may be more important than others? Which IP header file would QoS details be found? Total length field, fragmentation field, identification or service type. This will be service type field. Number 11. What is the correct term of the list of IP addresses and MAC addresses associated with them? ARP table. Number 12. What does subnet mask 255.255.255.0 tell about? Which part of IP address is the subnet ID? And which is the host? Number 30. What will operator? What will the operator 1 and 1 return? He will return only one. Number 14. The idea synthesizes how routers and other network devices need to think about the parts of an IP address. But it also knows for more arbitrary network sizes. What the idea stands for? Classless interdoing routing. Number 15. How many bits long is an autonomous system number or ASM? There's a 32 bit, I mean 32 bit long autonomous system number. Okay, so that's all about network layer assignment and uh, accurate assignment. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if this video helps you a little bit. Until then, be happy. Thank you for watching.